In the area around First Avenue North and Central and downtown St. Pete, it's totally gentrified. Tons of nice, beautiful galleries, secondhand stores, furniture stores, and boutiques. Come explore this area next time you visit St. Pete. And this is the place for Thai food called Chiang Mai. Let's look at the Chiang Mai. Very authentic, kind of like a 50s retro feel to it. It says the restrooms are for customers only. And now we're looking at Designer's Consigner, one of many boutiques here along the first and central corridor. Over there, it's a bus that will take you along Central Avenue. There's called the Central Avenue Trolley. I stumbled on this cool coffee shop called Brew Delicious. Very hip. And the Central Avenue Trolley will help transport you along this corridor full of designer stores, restaurants, cafes, bars, and art galleries. And look at the chic boutiques and designer goods. No, you're not in Greenwich Village. You're on Central Avenue in St. Petersburg. Look at these cool furniture and accessory places. Very unique. This has possibilities too. Treasures of Morocco. It's very interesting. Look at all the Moroccan colors. And St. Peter's for the young. Look at this tarot card place with crystals. All the new age stuff. Here we are outside the bodega. One of the very popular spots to buy Cuban food in St. Peter's. And now we're looking west along first. Look at all this traffic. Everyone loves this gentrified area. And a lot of cool restaurants here in the Central Avenue area too. Very New York. The hamburgers are great at Engine 9 in downtown St. Petersburg. I like the pastel colors of the Chiang Mai famous Thai cuisine here. And you're looking across the street at Bodegas. It's a Latin market and restaurant. Great place for Cuban sandwiches and special types of Cuban blend coffee. Now we're on Central and about 7th Street. There's a place to buy old vinyl records, antiques, and a couple bars. And part of a gentrification is becoming a live-where-you-work area. Look at those condominiums or apartments above the stores here. Kind of a California-looking burritos and taco stands here in downtown St. Pete. Looks pretty popular. And now we're outside the Cider Press Cafe. Very hip and trendy. Now I'm losing my hair, but I like, love the terrazzo floors here in this vintage wig store. And ping pong's coming back too. Thanks for visiting Grand Central.